Oh, hey there. I... I take it you got rejected from the Ivy Leagues, huh? No sweat. Me too. Okay, so this is me, Oscar, the most average Ivy League college applicant. And about a year ago, I was sitting in the exact same position as you are, opening the exact same emails from the exact same application portals to receive the exact same letters. I think by now you're probably thinking, why me? Or why did I get rejected? Or what could I have possibly done better? And about a year ago, I was applying to all the IVs. I was getting rejected from UPenn. I was getting rejected from Brown. I was re getting rejected from even smaller schools as well. Obviously, I made my very own reaction video with a pretty average resume that ended up pretty disappointingly. And so it's it's really hard for you as a student to understand what's going through the college admissions officers' minds, but hang in there, push through, and never stop working hard. It's pretty much a toxic mindset to work extremely hard just for the colleges to see and then stop working, right? Like if you intrinsically are a hard worker or you're a motivated person or you genuinely care about something, you're not gonna stop that the moment you get into Harvard. Like if you're genuinely passionate about like doing competitive debate and traveling to other countries to compete internationally, like you're not going to stop that the moment you get to Harvard, right? Because you have some kind of an intrinsic value in you, continue doing what you do, hang in there and push through the next year and see where life ends up taking you. Reflecting back after completing my first year in university, it's extremely different from what I would have expected. First, you're probably thinking, look, my life is gonna be over, man. What do I do? Everything is screwed. I made plans to go to UCLA and participate in their underwear run or whatever, right? Like, schools are intrinsically different, not because of their academics. And I was an AP student, right? Like, I took AP Calc, I took AP Chem. But at the end of the day, your university experience is more so created based on the people that you meet, based on the environment that you lived in. If you're studying business, you're obviously going to know this, but understanding um, organizational behavior, but specifically understanding the people around you is extremely, extremely important because that's what really living life is all about, right? It's about meeting people, gaining more experiences. And the more you network with like the upper years, the more you network with the people around you, the more exposure you get to the real world. And I think that's what really the university experience is about, is being able to bridge the gap between like a corporate job that you might work on a nine to five, versus like your high school career where you're still predominantly trying to have fun. And I think that's what really the key difference is. Reflecting back on my first year, I really realized that this experience was extremely humbling. Getting rejected from the IVs and then going through first year thinking that I was better than everyone else, which clearly I was mistaken, but um, after going through this, it's a very humbling experience. And so the biggest piece of advice or the biggest takeaway I say to you is hang in there. When you're applying to IVs, you're probably in the mindset of an overachiever. You're probably somebody who has like 26,000 extracurriculars on their resume, started three companies and made a million dollars in sales when you were in high school. I thought that like being like one of the more hardworking or overachieving students at my in my high school class at the time meant that I was really, really good. And coming into a smaller school here in Canada, I realized the people that I meet around me are actually extremely talented and extremely smart. When I thought I knew what I was doing with my life and what I wanted to do in this world, I was clearly mistaken. Like, I come in here and I start learning about things like capital restructuring or like leveraged buyout models. And back in high school, I was just like twiddling my thumbs and playing with calculators, right? Like, the experience that you get from high school and university is totally different. And if you're somebody, especially an international student who did get rejected from a US college, maybe community college, maybe just college, maybe an apprenticeship, like whatever it is, I think at the end of the day, as long as you're willing to put in the effort, as long as you're willing to try, it's going to be a humbling experience. You'll realize that like, you shouldn't look down on the people who aren't going to Ivy League schools. Like there's going to be really, really great, talented networks and communities of people. You'll start to flow into networks with like managing directors at investment banks, or like you'll probably flow into networks of like dentists who 
went through a similar path before going into med school, stuff like that, right? So like at the end of the day, what you really need to be doing is making the most of your experiences at university, be it at the IVs or be it at, you know, your local community college, right? At the end of the day, what really makes a university different is not the academics, as I said, right? You're gonna be learning the same calculus, you're gonna be learning the same principles of macroeconomics, but at, what really makes a difference is the people around you. So make sure to cherish that, move on, stay strong, good luck, and um, it's not that deep. You're gonna love university, you're gonna love meeting people. At the end of the day, if you're going to like med school, does it really matter where you're going to for your undergrad? Right? As long as you get into like the graduate schools of your choosing, like that's really what matters at the end of the day. Right? So pray for me, pray for me when I want to apply again, and uh, yeah, good luck. I'll see you next time. Again guys, it's really not that deep. If you're sad, just go be happy, get yourself a bottle of Haritos. and take it easy. See ya.